Hey folks, this is Karel from Data Dusers. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can do visually speaking in QuickSight. So how to configure the look and feel of your dashboards and the limitations that QuickSight has on that sense. I have to mention that personally, the visual part of uh, the development process or a BI solution is very important. And at least today, in my opinion, of course, QuickSight is not the best tool out there. But knowing what you can do and the limitations that you have, hopefully is going to help you to get the best out of it. So let's take a look together at themes in QuickSight. With themes, you can actually select among the three pre-built options that QuickSight offers out of the box. The one that we use is the default one, the classic, but you can actually switch to midnight. And then all the color schemes are going to change. Of course, things that you already defined like your sharp colors and your KPI colors, those are going to remain according to what you define, but all the default colors are going to adapt to this new theme. Uh, the same thing for Seaside, you can see how this is different from the classic in, in, in case the margins and the gutters and the borders and all that kind of stuff is uh, different. And also another thing that I wanted to highlight is the colors that you see here and what these colors and the order that they have mean. So for example, let's remove the custom colors that we have for this chart, let's reset these values to default. And we have the classic um, selected. So these colors and the order that you see here is representing the way in which the colors applied to your dimensions are going to be and the order in which they are going to be applied. For example, in this visual, you have United States being the number one, then Brazil, then probably Russia and then maybe France or India, around that. So if you notice now, the order of the colors represented here matches with that ranking. So United States, which is the first one with the highest one, is this light blue. Then you have Brazil, the darkest blue, the second one. Then Russia, the third one with the orange. Then probably uh, France or... Yeah, I think it's actually France and then India with the green and the magenta pink color. So this is what this means. So if we switch to midnight, you will see that now the colors for the countries are going to be different, are going to be in this order, orange, blue, purple, light green, and this red. So this is very important because this is some of the features that it's kind of complicated to manage in QuickSight because it depends on the rank of the dimension in each one of the visuals. For example, if we switch this to total cases per million instead of total cases, now the order of the dimensions is going to change and now United States is not going to be the first one anymore. Now the first one is going to be I don't know, I don't know which one, but the, the order is not going to change. So the what I'm trying to explain here is that these colors are not going to be applied for each dimensions. So if you come from a tool such as Tableau, for example, that that is going to be a thing. If you apply a color by a dimension, that color is going to be applied to that same dimension across all the visuals that are using that dimension. And that is actually that I think is very cool, but in QuickSight you don't get that. So your colors are going to be applied in this order by the rank of your dimensions in each one of the visuals. So I just want to explain that because that to me at least, when I am um, created a visual, that's something that matters. So if I switch back to the, to the classic, besides the three uh, out of the box options that QuickSight offers, you can actually create your own things. So you can come here to my theme and click on create one. And this is going to open this preview for you. You can see here that QuickSight is letting you know this is only a preview. 
if you want to change the primary background color for example if you let's say you want to apply this dark uh, brown this is what's going to happen you can change the primary foreground to let's say this uh, pink and you see that now the value colors change and you have all these options to play with right so you can change all these and customize the feeling of your dashboard according to your requirements you can also change the font and all that you can play with this and see how it changes your output also in the data you can customize the default colors of your data and this is what we were talking about so in this case if we change this light blue to be this dark brown now you see that the united states is going to change because the united states is the first country in, in this rank and if we change the dark blue that brazil currently has to this greenish then you see that brazil is going to change and you can actually define the rank of the colors and the order in which you want them to be applied in your visuals you can also control the the default gradient that will be applied to your visuals when you use a gradient and the empty field colors as well in the layout you can change things such as the gutter you can see how this changes no uh, margin between the visuals everything is going to become a full block uh, the margins are going to define the space that you have between the borders of your visuals and the limit of your dashboard or your sheet and the borders is of course the color that you're going to apply to the borders of your visuals in this case this is not actually something we can see because we have a color but uh, you get the point so the idea is that these visuals each one of them is going to have a border and then you can define some predefined color scales that quicksight has for kpis success warning danger these are pre-built things in quicksight that you can also customize to to make it fit your requirements and this is it so i'm, I'm just going to you, you can save your changes here if you want to or in this case i'm just going to close this because i don't want this was actually very very ugly <laughs> so i just want to keep the the classic one but now you know what you can achieve uh, by using themes and you can actually customize the feeling of your dashboard the way you want to so if you like our content please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all the content that we publish Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you around.